During these difficult days, mankind are becoming hopeless, helpless. They're becoming so fragile that the moment you say something to someone, it seems like you're speaking against them and or there's a negative connotation. But friends, I want you to take note that God has not left you. Good day, I'm Chaplain Kevin Santucci and a happy day to all of you. I'd like to, over the next few days during this shelter in place, provide for you some hope. A hope through a daily devotional. A devotional that is inspiring, stimulating. We're going to begin this morning's devotional with turn minds from the artificial to the natural. When I consider the heavens, said the prophet, the works of thy fingers, the moon, the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? God encourages us to contemplate his works in the natural world. He desires that we shall turn our minds from the study of the artificial to the natural. When we consider this batter, as we lift up our eyes to the hills from whence cometh our help, and contemplate the works which God's own hands have created, we get a clearer picture of life. His hands are, has molded the hills, they had balanced the portions thereof, and they shall be moved except at his own command the wind the sun the rain and the snow the ice are all ministers to do his will by the mere fact that god has called his children god's love and benevolence can be seen in every gift which he has bestowed upon them the beauties of nature are a theme for our contemplation today. In studying the natural loveliness surrounding us, the mind is carried up through nature to the author of all that is lovely. All the works of God are speaking to our senses today as we're taking out a few moments to meditate upon Him, to magnify His power, and to see the wonderful works and to exalt His wisdom. Every created thing has in its charm which interacts and which arrests the child of God toward a more powerful understanding of life. They mold his tastes in regard to the positiveness, the love, the kindness, the joy that speaks only of God. In words of glowing fervor, the prophet magnifies God in his creative works as he states, when I consider the heavens, the works of thy hands, the moon, the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? The world filled with sport and pleasure loving is now brought to an immediate halt, shelter in place. Thirsting around and everyone seems like they just can't find what seems to mo motivate them. But today, it's a day to contemplate. And now, little time will be given to the natural things. But let's give more time. Let's study the works of God. Let's explore through his handiwork the wonderful things that he had created. The heavenly bodies are worthy of our contemplation as well through the evening. God has made them for the benefit of men. And as we study his works, heavenly angels will be by our side to enlighten our minds and give us a better understanding of God's love for you and me. Join me again tomorrow for another Shelter in Place devotional. And I pray that God will lift you up and bless your family. Now, Father, bless your children. Keep them, we pray, for our hope is built on nothing less than your mighty power and your righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on your holy name. O oh, Father, keep thy children. Bless them, we pray. In your name, amen. This is Chaplain Kevin Santucci wishing you a blessed day.